Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing a police radar and police uh, plate reader resource, which is on 5M. This has been highly requested, I do, and I decided, okay, why not? We will do it for this week. Uh, hopefully you're having a great weekend. Just be noting I am starting school next week, so things may slow down a little bit, but I'm going to try to pre-record some videos today to get them all out. A few 5M videos coming out this week, including V-Menu and whitelist plugins as well, so make sure to stay tuned for those and subscribe if you are new here. Anyway, today we're going to be checking out this plate reader, reader resource, so pretty much this pops up on your screen, and I'll go over how you open it, how you do everything when we get into the game. Um, it's probably the best plate reader and speed reader and everything I've found on 5M. I've looked through a lot of them trying to decide which one I wanted to do a video on, but this seems to be the one that's most often updated, the most one that people use, so I decided why don't we do a video on this. So, um, it has all these cool things. This is kind of what it looks like in game. We're going to hop in our game ourselves to check it out. I'm just going to go through all its install and everything. It has a very, very nice and detailed operating menu, which is about our operating like, um, overview page thing. It's about 11 pages and I recommend reading through it if you are new to the resource. I'm just going to be going over how to install and how to do basic things in this video, but they do also have a full showcase video where they go through every key bind and everything else. So in order to install this, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says download and installation. It's going to say download the latest version of the resource from here. This is going to be going to the GitHub releases page. Um, this is where you're actually going to download the resource and to download it You're just going to click this dot zip right here It's going to download the latest version into here and you're going to open it with WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip Whatever you use to open up the resource inside you're going to see it has a lot of stuff in here You're just going to leave this alone. You're not going to touch any of this You're just going to use its outside folder here so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and minimize this. You're going to go into your server doctor data folder. So this is a server side resource, not client side. So please make sure you have a server set up or if you are not a server owner and you want this on a server you play on, go ahead and ask the server owner to watch the video and install it. Go into your resources folder and you're just going to drag this into the resource folder, the whole folder, and it's going to be WK underscore wars 2X. And if we go ahead and re-review that um, install instructions, it's just going to say, place it in there, add it to your resource list. So that's all we're going to go ahead and do. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rename this, but we're going to keep it the same name. I just rename it to copy the name. So it's easier than remembering what exactly it is. That's a little bit of a trick that I do. Just go ahead and rename and copy this name and keep this name, or you're just going to keep it in your mind. Go to your server.cfg file, edit it with notepad or notepad++. I personally um, recommend notepad++. And then you're going to add ensure or start, depending on your uh, setup here, just to the end here. So it's just going to be wk underscore wars 2x. Go ahead and save and then start up your 5M server. And we're going to make sure everything is working fine. We're also going to start up 5M and get into the server. Now, if you haven't uh, watched any of our videos before, the way to tell if you have the actual resource started and everything is it's going to appear in console. I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like momentarily. Uh, so once it's go ahead and start up and everything, it may not be read for you. This is completely fine. This is actually a, um, a bug with one of the resources. It went ahead and made the whole console red, um, but I think it's fixed. I just haven't updated it, but you can see um, it has started resource WK Wars 2x so we know that is all set up and good to go so we are ready to load in i have tested this with 5pd um i haven't found any issues with it um so just be aware there could be issues with it there could not be it, it's kind of random but you know that's how that works anyway this is the new 5m overview by the way i'm going to be doing a full video on the new overview uh very soon um so just keep that in mind but um this is a full overview on this is coming very soon um, but anyway, what we're going to do to connect, because I know a lot of people are wondering how you pre, like, uh, direct connect now. You actually go to play, and you're just going to type in your IP up here for direct connect, and you can see mine is localhost, so I just go ahead and click to my localhost server. Um, I really like the new UI. I think it works really, really good, so congratulations to the 5M team and everything for doing such a good job on that. Keep it up. Um, I think it's way better than the kind of half version we had, like, a month ago. So, great job on that. Anyway. Um, so we're just going to load in here and hopefully we load in pretty quickly so I don't have to ramble on. Um, but overall, the main controls of this, um, resource can be controlled inside of your 5M settings for, this is a thing not a lot of resources do that often, but I do enjoy it when they do. So you can configure them personal client side for every player. So if you want it to be a different control for rather than just keeping it the same control for all players, and I'll show you how to do that right when we get in. And then the main button to open the menu is F5. 
Um, there's also like a little tutorial button that will pop up and stuff, which I'll show you. And I do recommend if it's your first time using it to watch the tutorial. Um, it just makes it a whole lot easier. So while we load it, I'm going to let this load and I'll be right back. All right, so we have loaded into the game here and I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen so it's a little bit easier for you all to see. Um, just so it's a little bit easier, there you go. So you have full screen now. All right, so pretty much how to open the menu is you're just gonna press F5. Uh, you have to be in a vehicle, by the way. Um, it's not just gonna pop up if you're outside the vehicle uh, because the main reason for that is you're not gonna be using this when you're outside of a vehicle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sit inside of a police cruiser here and press F5 and you can see it has popped up and you can move this around to be wherever you want, um, which is pretty cool. You have the UI settings, your plate reader, help menu, um, and these are all the things you're gonna uh, go over inside of the documentation so i recommend looking over this for all the documentation but to turn on the display you're just going to click toggle display you can see it's in the bottom left you can of course move this to wherever you want if you want it on the top bottom uh top right top left wherever you want it to be uh you got your plate reader also and you can uh, toggle the display on and off so uh there's your uh, plate reader um, obviously to just get rid of it, you just click toggle display again, it will go away. Uh, close this. UI settings allows you to change your radar, remote, and render scale and everything, which is really, really cool. And obviously to turn on, you can just click um, one of these buttons to whatever you want to set up. And you can click the power up here. Remember to click power on over here before you start messing with buttons over here. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cool. It has full sounds. I don't know if you can hear. Let me turn on the sounds for you guys. Um, it has full sounds for everything you do. Uh, you can program it to whatever you want it to be. Um, and all that good stuff. So, and my audio of this part got corrupted, but I'm not going to go over the programming of this just because I recommend you read the documentation and you set up for your personal preference. Um, so if you have any questions regarding that, please ask on the resource thread. It's the best place to get support for the resource and program it yourself because it has a full detailed 11 page guide on how to do that. So make sure to look into that if you have your time and you want to spend time programming it. It can be programmed for individual players. For key bindings, you can go into the settings and then the key bindings tab. And then inside of the key bindings tab, you go down to the 5M section and you can find the key bindings for the resource there. Um, so that is an easy way for players to configure them to, for their liking rather than a server side liking. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to play around with it. Let me know how it is um, and all of that good stuff. So anyway, thank you so much to everybody who is watching today's video. I'm sorry I didn't go over too much of the programming side of it. I promise I'll get back into that more in the future. Um, but hopefully this did help you at least install it and watch the read the overview and see how you like it yourself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.